Normally, I don't talk about gender, but today I am making an exception as today we're talking about the electability of a woman. Here we are, March 2019, and already we have five female mainstream Democratic candidates. Kristen Gillibrand, Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, and of course, Tulsi Gabbard. On the flip side, some popular names have been and would be Michelle Bachman, Condoleezza Rice, Carly Fiorina, and Sarah Palin. As more and more females are joining the game, more and more questions are taking shape regarding their gender. Like, will we spend more time debating their hair, hips, and high heels than about their political agendas? Will men really love a woman being considered smarter than they are? Will the top dogs, Democratic and Republican, the Chucks and Kevins of the world, will they throw their time, endorsement, and money behind a female? Will people vote against a woman purely because of her sex? Plain and simple, can a woman beat a man? And then, then there's this question. Is this imaginary, squeaky clean, strong, attractive, yes, I said it, attractive, educated, fierce, smart woman even going to be able to handle the grueling task that it would be to run this country? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Are all of these questions even fair? Let's just put it this way. A lot of things in this world aren't fair. So I think by now you know what I'm going to ask. Political parties aside, is America ready for its first female president? You tell me. Yeah, make sure it's recording. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you knew it was. <coughs> you done? Yeah.